coffee. We drink it, we brew it, we love it. But how well do we know it? At White Rock Coffee in Dallas, Texas, they offer classes in coffee. Everything from the history of coffee to coffee preparation techniques to the coffee trade. For people who love coffee, it's a real eye-opener. So, what do you need to know about getting a good cup of coffee? The first thing you should do is develop a healthy taste for coffee experimentation. Where drinks like wine can have up to 90 different flavor components, drinks like coffee can have up to 400 different flavor components. These flavors can range all the way from the sweet fruity taste of a blueberry scone all the way to the dark taste of dirt. Things to consider when making the perfect cup of coffee. You should consider the location of the coffee farms. Only certain places in the world are capable of growing coffee. They tend to be within 100 miles of the equator where the temperature is a moderate 70 degrees year-round. Coffee plants also thrive in areas near volcanic activity where the soil is rich with nutrients. After the beans are harvested, they are processed and then roasted. The roasting can range from a light roast or city roast all the way to a dark roast or Italian roast. The darker the roast, the richer and deeper the flavor. However, the more the beans are roasted, the less caffeine remains in the beans. When coffee is ground, it needs to be a uniform size. Otherwise, the smaller size grounds will brew sweet and the larger size grounds will brew bitter. The result is a cup of coffee that doesn't have a uniform taste. Coffee can be brewed in many ways, including vacuum brewing, French press brewing, and good old coffee pot brewing. All of these factors determine what your coffee tastes like, and by tweaking them here and there, you too can have the perfect cup of coffee.